was a place with all the zip of new Coca-Cola. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4's DLC, Nuka Wild. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a guide in which I will show us how to acquire the unique Chinese officer sword known as the Sword of Wonders. And also the two apparel pieces, Oswald's top hat and the magician's tuxedo. And of course to do any of this you will need the Nuka Wild DLC installed. Now what we'll need to do is come to Kitty Kingdom. And when we enter here for the first time, we will be spoken to by a ghoul named Oswald. As soon as this happens, we will automatically be given a new quest called a magical kingdom. All three areas we need to visit to look for Oswald will be marked on the map. And of course we need to go to each of these three locations and find Oswald in one way or another. In some you see him speaking to other ghouls, in some you just see him behind screens, and in some you have face-to-face -face dialogue. But once all three are complete he will tell you to meet him on the roof of King Cola's castle. And of course all we need to do is head to the elevator, again it will be marked on your map with a quest marker, and then take it to the roof. Now once up here there's two things you can do. You can complete the quest with no bloodshed by passing a very hard speech check, so if you do want to do it this way, save it before doing it. Because if it fails, you'll have to kill him. And if we do finish the quest with no bloodshed, Oswald will reward us with the Sword of Wonders, and also reward us with Oswald's top hat. However, the magician's outfit will not be rewarded to us, and he will keep it on. We then can't get it, because as soon as we exit this, he teleports away and we never see him again. So if you do want all three pieces, the the Sword of Wonders, Oswald's top hat, and the Magician's outfit, you will have to kill Oswald. Some of you may prefer taking peaceful paths, but unfortunately we just can't get that third piece, the Magician's outfit, if we do take that bloodshedless path. So if you do choose to kill him, just a warning, it's one hell of a task. When you get his health down to zero, he kind of lies on the ground and then teleports away to a new location, and then his health is back at full. Also, each time he does this, he summons a bunch of feral ghouls that you then have to also kill, and as well as summoning new ones, he also resurrects the other ones that you've already killed each time you get his health to zero and he teleports away and reheals. So it's a bit of a mess and it's pretty intense. But at the end of it, it is well worth it as you will get the Sword of Wonders which will be on the ground around him and not in his inventory. So be sure to scout the area thoroughly until you find it. And then of course off his body we can get both the Magician's outfit and Oswald's top hat, completing the Magician's set. And as always, before looking at any of the apparel pieces or the weapon, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bubblehead poke or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of all the items. So first up the apparel pieces, we have Oswald's top hat. Plus 10% movement speed, plus 2 damage resistance, and plus 2 energy resistance. Resistance is pretty average to be honest, but the plus 10% movement speed is a really cool effect. And secondly we have the Magician's Tuxedo. This reduces damage taken from humans by 15%, plus 2 damage resistance, and plus 2 energy resistance. Now this reduction of damage taken by humans by 15% is awesome. Awesome. Normally you have damage or energy or radiation resistance, but this resists all of them, as long as that damage is coming from a human. Now both of them together look like this. Quite a nice sharp magician's suit, spattered of course with these bright colours that we have familiarised ourselves with by fighting the legions of Oswell's painted ghouls. So now to the sword, let's mod it out, and there's only one modification slot, and there's only one mod we want to put in that modification slot, which is the electrified serrated blade. This adds plus 10 bleed damage, plus 15 energy damage, and plus 75% damage. So once the Sword of Wonders has been modded out the way I just did, it has a base ballistic damage of 30 and a base electrical damage of 15, which is of course a variation of energy damage. Its swing speed is medium, its weight is 3 pounds and its value is 325 caps. And up the top we can see there, Sword of Wonders plus 30% armor pierce. So the Sword of Wonders is a unique Chinese officer's sword owned by the ex-Kitty Kingdom magician Oswald and more recently Kitty Kingdom wizard Oswald. As we learned that he actually acquired magical powers from the radiation, including teleportation and ghoul resurrection. But it wasn't enough to stop a half-naked camel. Now although the Sword of Wonders had a base ballistic damage of 30 and a base energy damage of 15, after getting all of the appropriate perks, I was able to get its damage up to 712 with an energy damage of 31. Now that's a big difference and that is also a hell of a lot of damage. And although there are some
some other melee weapons that can do more damage, this has a medium swing speed, unlike a lot of the other big damaging melee weapons which will have a slow swing speed. So that fact alone actually makes it a pretty viable choice as a melee weapon. Also, it's got this legendary prefix which adds 30% armor piercing, which at first I wasn't too impressed with, but then I really thought about it and I suppose one of the biggest downsides to a melee weapon is when your enemy's wearing armor. So this legendary effect just helps you negate 30% of it. So in many cases, it's actually 30% better than just about every other melee weapon you could choose. Again, I'm sure you can think up a weapon that's better than this one, but for the most part, this is really good. Now, unlike Hub's Alien Blaster, the Sword of Wonders comes from a flying sorcerer. Oswald Shaw was one perverted magician. He used to pull his top out, out of a bunny. I sure do hope your foes like magic, because they're going to be watching your sword disappear. Normally, I like weapons with two durs. I'll just have to get used to the Sword of One Durs. And here it is, the Sword of One Durs in action. <laughs> There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the Sword of Wonders, Oswald's Top Hat, and the Magician's Outfit in Fallout 4's DLC, Nuka World. I do hope this video helped you out in some way, and if it did, I think you will be very interested in clicking on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist, where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely, or you can check in the description, where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. What do you call a magic owl? Who? Dini. If that made you want to kill yourself, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link can also be found in the description or you can search Camel Works on Twitter. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here with me and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.